yeah, I was brought in as a temporary voice, a uh, scratch voice, and uh, it was presented, uh, an animatic uh, was presented, and they liked my voice, so they wanted to keep me as the role of Tulip, so it was very exciting. I really like how she's a real optimist and just very goofy, and how uh, Nick and uh, Doug have given me the freedom to be able to kind of put myself into her character and be goofy as well. Uh, I like how she's got a really strong integrity and she's only, she only means well, uh, even though sometimes she might not always do the right thing. Tulip is the only human on Stork Mountain at this point in time until chaos ensues. But uh, yeah, so she, you know, is kind of an outsider and she wants more than anything to fit in. Like she uh, really wants to be accepted and be part of the team. She's a real team player. So to feel on the outside of everyone else on Stork Mountain is kind of like a bummer for her, but she is very optimistic, so she won't outwardly say it. She has, she, she's, posi like she's positive about the situation, but, um, and she's also really smart. She's an inventor. Uh, she invents flying machines mostly because she can't fly, <laughs> but, uh, and they're not always the best machines, but uh, still pretty neat. Tulip receives this letter in the mailroom of a request for a baby, so she puts it in the right slot machine for getting the baby made, uh, pulls the trigger, whatever, uh, before Junior can stop her, and lo and behold, a baby has been uh, made for delivery. Uh, but that's not what Stork Mountain does anymore. So um, this machine hadn't been used in a long time. Uh, but it still works to Junior's uh, <laughs> dismay, and they have to get this baby delivered. Nick and Doug have both like been very encouraging of uh, us being able to bring our authenticity into these characters. And uh, I've had such a fun time being able to improvise and, and come up with alternate ways to like you know, say a line or do something goofy and, and they're very supportive of it and excited to try new stuff and it's, uh, so it's a very uh, openly creative environment that's like, makes you feel great. After a record I always feel uh, excited and uh, so that's been very fun and like inspiring. Key and Peele are hilarious. They're, I mean, I, I was with them one day we recorded all together. It was Andy and myself and them and um, yeah, just so much improvisation, very funny and very um, uh, collaborative, which was really nice. And, you know, because I feel like such a noob a lot of the time that it's nice to feel included. I'm kind of like two of myself in a way, I guess. Hi, it's Valerie here with a little bit of love. Did you know the voice actors of Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse from the 1930s got married in real life? For this and more movie facts, click on more videos.